and smiles off her faces, yeah. My aim is so dangerous, goodness gracious me. Name so pepper, I burn your mouth if you speak so foul on me. Uh, I beg man, step up, I run man down if you try to get loud on me. If I know you, fight you forever, you never mind me. But you don't want pressure. All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Mark Jacasey and Justin Gaethje. Here's the lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler, Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue, and the results certainly speak to him having the right approach, though. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was an All-American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there, and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on it, a highlight. His nickname the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps foot in the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick and the aforementioned Edson Barbos. All right, so here is the English lightweight hopeful Mark Jacasey. He was 12-0 before running into Tracar Close back in 2017. Big win over Joe Duffy in 2019, and a lot of people think eventually Jacasey is going to find his way into that top 15. As Jacasey has tried to make his way into the top 15, he has had to shore up some of the holes in this game. As you saw in the close fight, he had a lot of difficulty clearing the clinch position, was not able to get back to the center where he can use his striking advantage. This guy is a very well-rounded kickboxer, has a background in boy time, but was not able to use any of that in the fight against your car close, and it showed because he didn't get his hand raised. But when he went back against Joe Duffy, you saw the improvements. You saw how he had identified the weaknesses and started to work on him, and it led to him getting his hand raised. And I got to think in a video game setting, pretty fun guy to play with. Mark Jacasey ready to go here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark Bonecrusher Diacasey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Here we go, round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you can see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside the octagon. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh! Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Big hand kick there! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt. He's on top of him looking for a finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that hand. I was trying to get. Oh, 
Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Jacasa. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Escape DC. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. He had landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. All right, let's get to round two. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched well. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Bocasher, the Akasin. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.